a simple easy guide on how to mine Bitcoin on NiceHash using your CPU plus GPU, either AMD or Nvidia, so let's mine away. Hello guys and welcome back to Big Truth, your host Mark Luther. In today's video we are doing another cryptocurrency mining video and today I'm going to show you how to mine on NiceHash and the following topics we are going to show you today how to make your own NiceHash account okay so you can actually put all your bitcoins in one place and then send them to another place once you know the minimum withdrawal limit is reached for example the minimum withdrawal is about 0 0.001 bitcoin so payments from the miner to the wallet and from the wallet to hopefully coinbase and coinbase to any exchange you want or cold storage so basically we're going to just teach you the concept of making your own wallet okay and hopefully uh, we are going to teach you how to use their software okay how to benchmark how to mine and then how to send to coinbase okay now if you don't know what coinbase is i suggest you actually watch my video previous to this one made it like month or two ago you can watch how bitcoin okay how to set up your own wallet so you can accept cryptocurrency payments from nice hash for free without any you know without any fees so anyways let's start with the video so firstly when what you have to do is actually register a new account so for this one we are going to register a new account and we are going to show you what you know the nice hash dashboard has so uh, right now we have this email right here you have to put the password and you have to agree on the terms of service now for the time of this video I'm just going to log in to my account so here we are in our nice hash dashboard and as you can see you have the BTC per day now I have my uh, miner offline I'm mining other coins and doing other things here is the wallet okay the wallet feature you click wallet right here okay here you have all the transactions okay to my coinbase account okay of course this all will be blurred for security reasons and as you can see here is your BTC address so right now after I show you how to download your own software you need to put the depositing mining address to this account because what will happen is as you're mining okay all the USD all the bitcoins are going to come to the nice hash wallet and then when you reach your withdrawal okay limit what you can do is click withdrawal right here and as you can see the reason why I don't want you to mine directly to an external Bitcoin wallet because nice hash really treat them like you know like crap so they really just want you to go through coinbase and I suggest you go through coinbase because it will be much more cheaper for you you don't have to pay any fees and processing time is instant once you just click withdraw Okay, you will have to withdraw all your you know things now some people are going to ask why is there like an experimental you know label right here this has been here since January 2018 the start of 2018 it has been working ever since I don't know why they didn't remove it maybe because they were lazy or something so anyways let's go to downloading the software so here we are back at the nice hash website okay we click on the download button to the sellers box and we will be redirected to this thing okay free app that allows you to rent out computing power and earn bitcoins so here you have download for AMD cards or Nvidia cards now the difference between the both is that this is a different software and this is a different software so as you can see here I have the nice hash thing as you can see here I have 2.30 dollars unpaid okay now the thing is I have a GeForce GTX 1066 gigabyte so that is an NVIDIA card okay and I'm mining with an RX 580 in the same you know in the same computer in the same rig so the thing is here I am mining with both AMD and NVIDIA so uh, basically you can choose whatever you want I suggest you just go with a legacy click on here and you will be redirected to this page okay now some people are going to have some you know some problems right here so I want you to follow me precisely don't click on this on this click on the third one NHM Windows 1.9.1.7.0.7. zip you click on that okay and what you're going to have is a minor downloading now the thing is with these miners is that Google Chrome actually you know 
label them as viruses or dangerous I assure you it's not dangerous because everyone at this point is just saying that these miners are dangerous but they are not dangerous so just click on the keep dangerous files the reason why they are labeled like that because Google Chrome sees the miners as Trojan viruses and that's the reason why they think it is a virus don't worry it's not like any of the things that you heard on the media okay it is unsafe hacked it is not hacked keep anyway it is downloading now let's go to our show folder now I suggest for you actually to copy the miner okay for example as you can see the NHM Windows thing now what you want to do is actually WinRAR extract here so you don't have you know to go to an another window and you know these problems so we extract it and we get a bunch of files now the main one you want to click on is the application nice hash minor legacy we run this and now we are going to get hopefully the nice hash thing now here yes you have to actually accept their terms of service basically saying they are not responsible for anything that is going to happen into your miner because everything is third-party apps but actually they ensure that they are secure so you don't have to you know to be worried of anything you click on terms of service of course here are some languages if you don't understand English click OK now here don't click I refuse click I agree because some third-party mining softwares should speed up your mining and give you more stable mining experience it is better it's more profitable that's the thing we want to think about I agree now it is going to just load a bit it's not going to take a lot of time now here it takes some time about downloading miners so uh, let's speed this up a bit so guys after actually unzipping and doing all the miners thing downloading here we have three things okay that you are going to greet with okay firstly you have the server location and this is really important for example let's say you live in Europe you don't want to mine to the Japanese server or you live in Japan you don't want to mine to the USA server the reason why you don't want to mine into different servers and just you know diversify with servers is because once you do that what will happen is that you are going to have latency issues you are going to have rejected shares and basically shares are the things that you are mining with okay for example I'm mining with my cards and I'm submitting shares into the network what will happen is that these shares are the things that you are trying to solve these are the mathematical formulas and the mathematical you know algorithms that you want to solve so basically whatever is nearer to you okay you live in Europe use the Amsterdam you know European server so here is the Bitcoin address don't use your email address use your Bitcoin address we go back into here and we go back into our wallet our wallet has this uh, this address we copy this okay and then we go back to our miner as you can see right here we paste okay and as you can see it's pasted right here now the worker name is nothing important okay you don't have to worry about that you can name it for this like test and as you can see here you have the equipment now to actually be able to mine with the equipment you cannot mine because you need to benchmark so what we do right here we go to benchmark and for amateur you know miners that are starting out I don't suggest you start mining with your CPUs they're not worth it at all and they actually waste a lot of energy now if you are really you know interested in mining and really want to get as much of cryptocurrencies as you want especially in this bear market right now depending on when you're and when and how you're watching this video I suggest you mine with both your GPU and CPU so with GPU you have to click you know on these check marks now by default it would be clicking that now as you can see here the benchmarking type okay you have the quick can be inaccurate or precise use the standard version it is much better as you can see it will you know do everything now you can start the benchmarks and you can start mining after the benchmarks but this will take us a lot of time because it had it has to go through 34 algorithms before it starts mining so I have another copy of nice I'm using the Chinese Hong Kong thing because in the European Amsterdam thing 
what happened is that they are not submitting shares to the crypto night v8 thing okay the algorithm so I'm using this and once you click on start everything is going to just be automated so everything will just go with the flow okay everything would just be normal now I think I should be stopping the mining because on my you know thing it will you know rise the temperatures too much so uh, you don't have to worry about the temperatures all all you have to do is actually download this software called MSI afterburner and what will happen is you can control your fan speed and all that stuff this will be for another beginners guide video so don't worry about that as you can see right here you have like two files okay two CMD files I think this will be closed okay you have this no this one okay you have two CMD files that are mining so I have to stop the mining actually right now so this is how you start mining on cryptocurrencies in 2018 okay on nice hash you get Bitcoin so after that where's the money where's the you know the thing so what you have to do is find your miner okay or you can go from your dashboard directly okay into the miner so let's click on dashboard let's just wait a second and hopefully it will redirect us back into the nice hash you know website so um, I think it just kicked me out of the whole website or something so anyways I have this actually you know recently viewed miners I go to my miner as you can see now I'm now right now I'm not mining okay I was mining few hours ago but for now on my other rig which is the total mining rig okay that I'm mining with the two GTX 1080s for those who know me I'm mining other things I got a BTC payout on the 28th of November two days ago so as you can see you get the payment okay you get it back to your you know um, account but don't worry I'm going to make more tutor tutorials for the people who don't understand okay uh, this stuff so anyways as you can see right here the next payment out amount it will show you right here show you the efficiency the profitability and also the unpaid balance once you reach 0 0.001 I think you're going to get paid out in my situation I'm going to get paid out on the 2nd of you know um, December so because I'm not mining it just shows the 10th anyways guys thank you for watching this video from Bitruth with your host Mark Luther the reason why I made this video is because I had a lot of inquiries in the discord okay people that are starting out to mine okay starting out really fresh to the mining field so they need such tutorials to help them out so thank you guys for watching this video from Bitruth with your host Mark Luther if you're new subscribe down below if you're not new then keep watching my videos I don't know and see you guys on the next video.